Hey, what's good with the YouTube? This is your boy Rojo. This is the Rojo Room. Now, we got a trending little topic, man, that's been going on here on the genre, you know, involving the individual from Sanjo, known as Weddle. He's upstate Sereno. And Flaco, from a convict's perspective, as well as Hoodstock. And, uh, let me let me give my in, in let me give my input, man. Now, in my opinion, now this is only my opinion because uh, I can't factually say if anybody knows anything or they don't. But uh, you know, around a year, year and a half ago, when the comics perspective first started, well, uh, Weddle came on the show. He had talked with Flacco, you know, pretty pretty extensively, and um, agreed to come on the show and whatnot. And it was to my understanding that he understood everything that was going on, you know, as far as Flacco's history and whatnot. And he still agreed to do the show. And, you know, he's been, uh, you know, kind of a friend, you know, not, not so much of me, but of Flacco, you know, since that initial interview. Um, the other day, the day before yesterday, I guess it was, Weddle went on Hoodstocks. And to me, I'm not going to lie to you, I finally watched it. And uh, it seemed like the the dude from Hoodstocks was kind of playing with him throughout the whole interview, like not necessarily giving him his proper respect, you know. Now, let me point out a few things. People who claim they're active, you know, and, and play that role, in their mind, maybe they are. Maybe that's how they get down. In my time, it was different. Now, if I had a channel playing the active role, I would never, ever, 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 ever <laughs> have a non-active on my channel. It's a bad look. It shows that you support that kind of stuff. And you don't care about, you know, the sacrifice and struggle of all the active people. Now, this is, you know, maybe it's a warped philosophy. Maybe it's not. But if I, if I was active, I would never have a channel that discussed any sort of North, South, Bulldogs, Crips, Bloods, Aryan Brotherhood, Nazi Lowriders, etc. It's just not something you do as a gangster that's involved in that lifestyle. You don't speak on the politics with people who aren't directly involved. And, you know, being from up North, boy, we had more need to know basis and FYIs than anything you could ever imagine. It was like, we we're working in the White House, man. You need level seven clearance to know this and fucking level five clearance to know that and <clears throat> it just it was just different man it, i i talked to somebody yesterday who's really in the know you know from down south that told me a lot of times when a, a, a person from down there stops gang banging he still looked at as being good as long as he didn't tell or as long as he didn't have no you know no funny style charges and we all know what those are in my in my time being from up north that's just not the case once you have chosen to participate in a household if you get a gang name tattooed on you if you go to a county jail and you function with the homies if you go to a, a level one and you function with the homies if you ever say hey i'm walking away it's over that's it. It doesn't matter if you're a northerner. It doesn't matter if you're a bro. It doesn't matter if you're a C. Once you've been involved in the lifestyle, you will never be looked upon favorably again. And you'll be subject to getting in the wreck, man. You know, oh, uh, you can't just <laughs> you can't just go to prison and be like, OK, well, I'm not going to tell on nobody. I, I, I haven't touched no minors, but I'm done with this gang stuff. I'm going to S and Y. It's over for you. You won't be good anywhere. You know, there's going to be certain friends of yours who don't care, you know, certain neighborhoods, you know, that are more street orientated than prison politic orientated. They might not care. But at the end of the day, it's never a good look if you claim to be active and you associate with people who have walked away. It just didn't happen in my time. Now, times change. Yeah, do you have to adapt with times? Yeah, to me, it's weird. I wouldn't do it personally. And, you know, any OG who's really about that business that's been around, they're not going to do it either. 
that's not so much the issue. The issue is, Weddle, he made a big uh, thing about Flacco being an informant and whatnot. And I get it. Everyone's entitled to their opinion. You know, that's some people are going to care. Some people aren't. And that's how it is. Um, but the thing here is, do I think he already knew? And just since he got called on it, wants to save face by making a video, you know, kind of kind of talking back to Flacco. And yes, I, I honestly believe he had to have known. There's no way he couldn't have. You know, he's in the genre. You know, he reads comments on YouTube, especially on his video, you know, that he did. Like, oh, da 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 da, da. Anywhere you go, everybody knows. I just find it inconceivable to think there was no possible way he didn't know Flacco's history. Not that they talked. And, uh, you know, I could easily find out. I could be like, hey, Flacco, did that dude know? But it's not that serious. I'm just putting things out there that I think should be taken into consideration. <laughs> when it comes to dropping out of a gang, there's one bad news list. You know, if you're on the bad news list, it don't matter if you told, it don't matter if you ran during a fight, it don't matter if you just said, fuck it, and I'm out of here and went to medical and never came back. It don't matter if you were a drug addict, it don't matter if you stole, you're on the same list. Um, are certain things always going to be looked at differently? Of course. And those two things are going to be things with minors and, 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 you know, telling. But let's not get it misconstrued that, you know, a, a, a target who went to medical and never came back and whatever, or somebody who did something else, they're going to get treated the exact same. So do you, do you really, you know, if you're supposedly against gang lifestyles and against this and against that, should you really be out there pushing, you know, oh, well, I'm better than you because of this and because of that? No, that's them same old attitudes. You know what I mean? And that's things you got to let go or you're never going to really be truly successful. You know what I mean? And finally, the main thing, do your research, people. If if the homie Weddo didn't already know, you know, that's, I find it very, very just on this side of impossible that he didn't know. However, if he didn't know, before you go holding hands in public with people and, you know, getting matching tattoos and all that shit, you have to know who you're dealing with. You know, if you think that's a bad look for you because you're just a regular dropout that changed his life versus a different kind of dropout, you can't put yourself in those positions. And then when you get called on it by some, some guys who were making fun of you for, you know, a half hour, you know, you want to clean your stuff up. Oh, if I would have known, come on, man. Really, bro? Really? We're going to pretend that? But uh, am I sticking up for Flacco? Not at all. He did what he did. He freely admits it, you know. Um, but it's not about let's back Flacco up. It's not about let's take Weddle down. It's not about none of that stuff. What it's about is just keeping it real, you know. You did something <clears throat> that, that you didn't think was a big deal at the time. You go on somewhere else, they call you out on it. And to make your own self look good, you attack somebody else. And it's just like, that's not manly. My opinion, I could be wrong. I could have this, I could be way wrong on this shit. I don't know everything for sure. But uh, I think the whole thing was funny. First of all, actives, let's do a thing with these people talking anti what we believe in. You know what I mean? The whole... I didn't know versus I knew about informing. Come on, bro. It's, 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 this is the kind of, unfortunately in this genre, these are the things that seem to be relevant every day. You know, I did a good video, got like a thousand views. This one's going to do better. Guaranteed, man, because it's drama. We'll see about the views and uh, maybe I'll be wrong, but man, everybody just needs to mind their own business. Anybody on YouTube is not a real gangster, straight up, no matter what you pretend, no matter what you think, um, you, you see Courtney on here with the channel or skip real gangsters. No, nah, you don't. And there's a reason. Anyway, this is your boy Rojo. This is the Rojo room. 
and I'm gone.